Hey guys, Chris G here with you. So I'm going on a hike tomorrow and uh, it's very cold out. I'm in uh, Northwest Arkansas, or excuse me, Northeast Arkansas, really North Central. And uh, it's gonna be very cold, like 28 degrees. So we're going on a hike. So I thought I would uh, just give you an insight to my gear, what I pack and what that looks like. So here we go. Here is everything laid out on my hotel bed. Um, but let's start right over here with my clothing. I mean, this is, this is basically it for the clothing. So obviously I've got a, uh, a full face mask here that I wear, this thing is super warm. I uh, got just an added protection mask here. Uh, this is actually my Corona mask, but uh, I take it with me anyways. Um, just a long sleeve shirt, T-shirt here. And this is my hyper warm Nike uh, undershirt. I put this on, I mean, I almost sweat, especially during the day when it gets up into the high 30s. Um, I usually end up taking that thing off. And then of course for night, because it's gonna be super cold, got a pair of uh, just, these are just cheap Swiss gloves. Um, I actually had some really good outdoor research gloves and I lost them. So that's what I got for this hike. A uh, couple of pairs of socks, one to wear, one to change into if and when I get wet. And um, if you have any knee issues, obviously bring something for that. That's my, my knee gear. Um, <clears throat> these are my uh, hiking shoes that I wear. I have worn these, uh, this exact model on numerous hikes. These are my latest, newest pair. I probably need to get a new pair soon. I burned these in a campfire one time when I was trying to heat them up to, to uh, dry out after some river crossings but great shoes for hiking, absolutely love those. And then of course my Nike Combat Pro um, underpants, these will also make you sweat. And uh, these are the hiking pants I use. I know everybody uses these fancy um, hiking pants. I got these Wranglers and I absolutely love them. They have the side pockets here and that is what I wear hiking. I don't go too expensive on my, on my clothing, just my shoes. Okay, transitioning into shelter and slash bedding. So I always bring, I, I say always, it just depends. I'll typically, just depends. I'll typically bring a tarp like this. Um, I know a lot of people say don't do it, it's extra weight. Uh, I don't know exactly what that thing weighs, but it's probably more than I need to bring. But I bring it because I sometimes like the comfort of a tarp whenever it's pouring down rain. Um, I've got my uh, tent here. This is a two person because I'm six foot five, 200 pounds. So I don't fit in a one person tent very well. It's not very comfortable, um, but this is a, a great tent. Uh, four pounds is everything. So that's a uh, decent weight for me. And then I always, this thing weighs nothing. So it's just added in the cold, in the winter. I take this because this little piece of foam pad does wonders on providing some heat um, underneath your sleeping bag. So this is my Big Agnes sleeping bag and uh, absolutely love this thing. I have uh, used this on many, many hikes. You can see which one it is there. Big Agnes, gotta love it. I love the down. And uh, gotta have a pillow. This is a great little pillow, Nemo. Bought it on Amazon, great thing. And uh, this is just another pad. I'm still debating on whether to bring this or not. It usually doesn't even stay aired up and uh, it's just extra weight that I don't necessarily need. So I may not bring that, but we'll see. Hey, moving on here. Uh, this is a must for me. I believe in 550 cord. I was an army guy and I uh, just believe in 550 cord. I don't ever go home without it. 550 cord is your buddy. You may never need it, but if you do. Uh, in this cold air, I don't like load up on them or anything, but I do take some hot hands hand warmers. Never know. Might come in handy. I usually don't even use them, but I've got them. Got my faithful Chinese emergency blanket. I say Chinese because I'm assuming that's Chinese. I think I ordered it on Wish or something. I've had this thing forever and I've actually never used it, but I have used another one before uh, when I slept in the winter without a tent. Uh, it was a great comfort. Um, I use a platypus. Um, this is for your water filtration system. I always keep two filters with me in case one goes bad. Water is important. Water is life. So that's my filtration system. Um, extra set of batteries. I don't know if that's necessary, but I take them anyways. Uh, utensils, obviously got to eat some food. And this is usually pretty important. Okay. You got to go to the bathroom. So bring something to go to the bathroom with. A little first aid kit. 
case I fall off a mountain and have to put a Band-Aid on my head. That's what I do. It's just a dry bag, Sea to Summit dry bag. Works pretty well for me. And uh, then I got this awesome little Academy uh, GSI Outdoors coffee cup. It is pretty cool. Works really well, and it's much better than my old metal cup that I used. So I really like that. And then I've got uh, the MSR uh, burner stove. This thing is pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about this is it does not have an automatic um, lighter. I have to use matches or whatever, but it's a great little setup. Everything goes right here. Canister, a fuel, everything. And then there's a little cup on it right there. Um, then we've got, you got to have the Swiss Army knife, right? Got one, uh, my buddy got me this one with uh, my initials on it. Okay, now transitioning into food. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but you guys know uh, my company is Zervita. We sell nutritional products and Zill is my lifesaver. This is a newer product we have in our performance line. It's called Fuel One for Bodies in Motion. This is a phenomenal product. A lot of people think it is for, it's a gel base, so it doesn't like sit in your stomach or wash around like water or something, but it gives me incredible energy. Like I'm talking, I can get up the ridge line pretty easily once I suck this stuff down. So it's pretty awesome, uh, good stuff there. Uh, I love it, works good for me. Also, I am a keto guy, so I have my little keto snacks. This is a slim fast keto fat bomb. Gotta take those. Uh, this is pretty much all I eat whenever I'm on the trail. Since I'm keto, uh, there are some keto meals out there. I didn't have time to order them for this one, but this is scrambled eggs with bacon. And that's pretty much what I eat. So breakfast, dinner, breakfast, dinner. I don't ever eat lunch on the trail. I don't know about you guys. I just like snack on a bar or something like that. That's my trusty down coat. I got on Pike's Peak like 15 years ago and I still wear it on every hike that's well winter hike. And then the lovely Osprey uh, pack. Love this one. Excess. This bat is phenomenal and I really like it. So, so anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing the North Silomar Creek Trail in Arkansas. Uh, it's near Allison, Arkansas. It's got some great features. Um, it's got some waterfalls, some very high bluffs. Um, even off the beaten path, there is a cavern that you can go to and actually do cavern tours. I did that one time when I was hiking this trail. It's pretty cool. So, but anyways, hey, if you like the video, if it's helpful anyway, or you just were entertained, I don't know how you'd be entertained on that, but if you like the video, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.